Which remote desktop apps are overrated? Which ones are underrated? Part three. Guacamole. Ooh, I will say guacamole is underrated. I think it's often overlooked because it's pretty dated at this point, but it's clientless and it just builds on the backs of SSH, VNC, RDP. It's a classic and I won't disrespect it or use it. Beyond trust. I'm sorry, I don't recognize that one. You mispronounced Bomgar. This is the world of IT. We don't conform to name changes. With that said, Bomgar is probably my number one favorite IT focused remote access and admin tool. At my last job, we had self-hosted Bomgar. And while it was insanely expensive, it was an amazing tool for being on a team. Sessions were recorded, it had chat, encrypted file transfers. You could transfer sessions between team members. Incredibly fast, easy to use, a little difficult to admin. Even though it was self-hosted, you still Still had to pay per seat licensing. So our annual bill was like $2,000, crazy. By the way, if I haven't covered your favorite yet, please feel free to nominate them in the comments. Jump desktop. I did trial it for a few months and I liked it. I think I eventually chose Splash Top for business over it. It played nicer with my MacBook and my Mac mini. I can't really remember. I think it's fair to call this one underrated because I know it's good. I always forget about it. And then people in the comments remind me to kind of makes it like an underdog. Oh, the goat, log me in. Log me. If there was a term that could live above overrated, like overrated squared, log me in would be above that in the next category where we would need to invent another new word. Anecdotally, I'll never forgive the insane price changes they made. They just dropped them out of nowhere. There's just so many better and cheaper options nowadays. I admit this one, it's kind of an honorable mention for me. I doubt there's anybody else using it. The final three and a half years of my last MSP job, I managed, maintained, and developed our self-hosted enable and central server. The remote access itself wasn't breathtaking. All the user management was baked into our RMM and like all the features it, it had were enhanced by like automations and rules and tweaks that you could enforce with like the whole end central suite. It was like just getting good right before I quit. M Remote NG. Okay, so I only got to use this briefly in the past. One of our MSP clients had internal IT staff that we were assisting, AKA about to replace. And this was what he was using to manage and remote into his environment. Anytime someone mentions MRNG, it's not like a cult thing, but you always get one person that introduces it like it's the seventh of their name from the island of Tarth. Rightful King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. They just love it. They stand by it. I respect it.